A lot of community-based organizations and immigrant communities have came out of um, their origin stories that they sort of emerged as community members um, trying to organize around violence because of the gaps that they were seeing in um, mainstream, the mainstream feminist movement. But a lot of the critique that, that sort of led to the founding of those organizations um, was about the sort of um, like cultural gaps or issues of cultural competency, but not so much about questioning the strategies. And so we see sort of like a, almost like a replication of certain kinds of strategies in a lot of those groups where there's um, a sort of social service component and then a community outreach component. And I think, you know, one of the impacts of nonprofitization has been to keep those, um, those areas of work really separate so that um, the services are not connected to community-based strategies and community education or organizing is really disconnected from work with survivors. I think the LGBT anti-violence movement is in the process of making the same mistakes as the, um, as the anti-domestic violence or anti-sexual assault uh, movement made, which is again to sort of focus on um, number of people who receive professionalized services when they experience violence uh, number of laws we pass that create harsher, make visible the violence in the law and then create harsher punishments for it because then we feel like then people are recognizing us and the violence that happens against us. Um, and not sort of thinking through what it would mean to actually stop violence before it happens rather than responding to it and how, what kinds of structural changes need to happen. Nonprofits and the legal system have encouraged us to think about violence as an individual issue and to what does it mean to resituate individuals within their broader context. The sort of very traditional anti-violence, uh, well, LGBT anti-violence organization is very much sort of focused on individuals and responding to individual cases and maybe doing you know public education campaigns and sort of stop the hate campaigns, which just really still continue to present a very individualized um, perception of the issue rather than looking systemically at what the, the structures are that inform and sort of dictate what an individual's experience or response to violence can and is be, can be and is. A lot of the really critical work that needs to happen to end violence is probably not also 100% legal inside the life of a nonprofit. So if you need to get someone across state lines or if you need to do whatever needs to be done to actually change the course of someone's life to help them end a cycle of violence, within a nonprofit you're extremely limited as to what that can look like legally because of insurance, because of um, boards of directors, because of funding streams, because of if you accept government funding. Criminalization and nonprofitization have supported binary thinking in a lot of different ways. So that can mean like gender binaries or it can mean the binary of victim and perpetrator. Thinking about violence as this sort of oppositional um, issue where there's one, like two different sides and I think some of our work now has been to sort of undo those binaries to think more kind of holistically <clears throat> and through connection instead of through those <clears throat> separations. A lot of it is about um, inventing new strategies but a lot of it is also noticing that we can reclaim strategies that we already have because a lot of communities the police have never been a resource for, right, and have always been a danger to. So people have done other things to try to figure things out. So it's like how do we take what we already sometimes do to help each other out or what we've already done to survive or what people have done to survive for a long time and figure out how to operationalize it now, how to give each other the skills, how to rebuild skills that we've lost in a society that is really focused on calling the cops. Um, and that work is very grassroots, very slow, very experimental, very creative, um, beautiful work.